your connection in Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is News 10 at 6. Good evening, I'm Rick Tillery. I'm Trish Close. Thanks for joining us tonight. The city of Ashland turning on the lights for the 20th year in a row. News 10's Caitlin Conrad is live with a look at this year's Festival of Light and tonight's Top Story at 6. Trish, Rick, I'm here in downtown Ashland where the holidays are officially here. As you can see, the lights are now on and it is bright. It's an event that the community looks forward to all year round. The city of Ashland has been lighting up the holidays for two decades. Well, the Festival of Light is celebrating its 20th anniversary celebration this year. So Catherine Flanagan works for the Ashland Chamber of Commerce. She says a lot of work goes into getting things just right. Preparations have all been done and a lot of the work happens before the event. The city has been working for a month to put up more than a million bulbs. In the past couple of years, we refurbished many of our decorations. So you'll see the um, refurbished wreaths along East Main Street with LED lighting, snowflakes with LED lighting. This year, we um, restored 41 historic lanterns. So those are all hung up too. All those lights, a big attraction. I like the lanterns. Pulling in plenty of spectators for the big lights. It's just, it's kind of bright because We've only seen darkness for a little bit and then it's really cool because there's a lot of different patterns and designs and stuff. Flanagan says it cost the city more than $40,000 to put the event on, but she says it's all worth it. It's right when we were lighting the lights and you have over 10,000 folks just all right there um, that just ready to sing and watch all the lights come on. So. Palpable. There was about 10,000 people who packed down into the plaza to see the lights go on. And we took a lot of photos here. We're going to post those on our News 10 Facebook. So if you couldn't be there, um, you can catch more of the action there tonight. Covering your news live in Ashland, Caitlin Conrad, News 10.